Okay, today I'm going to record a video for the first three questions in your SPM paper 2, the, the MX. Okay, okay, I try to like finish the whole paper in these few days. Okay, now we have a look on the first three questions first, which is, section, which is, which is on the section A, question 1, 2, and 3. So let's have a look on the question 1. Okay, I personally think that question one is quite simple, which is simultaneous equation, and they ask you to solve it. Yeah, when they ask you to solve it, mean he want to find what is the value for x and what is the value for y. Okay, so let's start to solve it. So okay, so okay, when I start to solve it, okay, I write down the equation here. First, three x plus y will equal to one. Okay, so first thing. I want to find what is the value for y, then I can substitute back uh, y into here. So y will equal to 1 minus 3x. Okay, this is the first equation I got. And then the second equation given here is 5x squared plus y squared plus 4xy minus 5 will equal to 0. Okay, this is another equation. Uh, given by the question okay this is five mark question so I think most of the student can score in this five mark so very simple you just substitute the y into here okay so let's say this is number two so what I do is I just substitute okay I just right here substitute one into two okay then it's very simple okay so I just substitute so 5x squared plus y. Now y, I will substitute 1 minus 3x. 1 minus 3x squared plus 4xy. y will be 1 minus 3x. Minus 5 will equal to 0. Okay, I substitute all the y become 1 minus 3x. 1 minus 3x. See, 4xy, 4xy, y squared. Minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. Then I just expand the whole equation. So 5x squared plus, okay, this one expand, you, I will get 1 minus uh, 2 multiple a multiple b, 6x plus 9x squared, okay, plus okay, 4x multiple, 4x multiple y, 4, okay, 4x minus 12x squared minus 5 will equal to 0, okay? means you, I, I just multiply 4x for, for both uh. okay and then I set the x square and x square so 5x square plus 9x square I got 14x square 14 x square minus 12 x square here I still got 2x square okay negative 6x plus 4x I got negative 2x okay and then positive 1 minus 5 I got minus 4 but so equal to 0 okay I divide for the whole equation make the equation look simple so this one divide 2 I got x squared minus x minus 2 will equal to 0 then what I do is I just factorize okay because this one can simply factorize because most of the time I thought mm, in paper 2 you have to use the formula like negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a but then this one do, uh, do not need to be because you can straight away factorize. So x, x obviously this is um, minus two plus one. Okay, if not you can just impress calculator. So f here what you can get is very simple. So you got x will equal to two or x will equal to negative one. Because he asked you to solve the equation, so you need to find x value and y value. So after you got this one, you substitute this one back to y. Okay, so when x equal to 2, y will equal to 1 minus 3, 2. y will equal to negative 6, negative 6, 1 minus 6, we got negative 5. So when x is equal to negative 1, Okay, when x equal to negative 1, you just put in, so y will equal to 1 minus 3, negative 1. What? So y will got 4. That's all for the first 5 mark. I think most of, most of you can score in this question because it's very simple, simultaneous. Okay, 
Got it, got it, then we go to question number two. Okay, question number two. Okay, it's a quadratic equation. Okay, he give you one equation here, and then he say where k is a constant, okay, and then have the roof p and 2p. Okay, have the roof p and 2p, and then he say p cannot equal to zero. Okay, so, okay, since he says two of this also is the roof, so what I do here is, okay, okay, I, I copy down the whole equation. Okay, so x squared plus 4, 3x plus k, then get equal to 0. Okay, I write out the whole equation, and then he given here, we got two roofs. So I assume alpha will equal to p, and beta will equal to 2p. Okay, and then I expand this equation first. So x squared plus 12x plus 4k equal to 0. Okay, and then I put it into the formula. Still remember the formula? So x squared minus uh, sum of roof x plus product of roof equal to 0. Okay, this is the formula. Okay, if you remember this formula, you can you can easily get sum of roof. So how do I apply how do I apply this equation into this formula? So it's very simple. So therefore, x squared minus this is positive twelve x what? So here will become negative twelve x plus here will become four k equal to zero. Therefore from here we know sum of roof is equal to negative twelve. Okay? Because I just put this formula into this uh, I just put this equation into this formula what? and then I know that product of roof is equal to 4k okay now okay sum of roof alpha is plus beta we call sum of roof so alpha plus beta we will got negative 12 so alpha equal to p and then plus beta equal to 2p will equal to negative 12 therefore 3p will equal to negative 12 and p will equal to negative 4 okay that's all alpha plus beta what? because I, I assume alpha is p and beta equal to 2p of course you can assume alpha equal to 2p beta equal to p okay it doesn't matter what okay because both of them you pass together you will got 3p and then you will you can solve it you got p equal to negative 4 Okay, because part A he asks you find the value P and K. So when we, when I got the value for P, then I I can easily get okay product of roof I will got four K. So product of roof means alpha multiple beta will equal to four K. Therefore P multiple two P I will got four K. Therefore two P square I will got four K. P I got negative four so two negative 4 square I will got 4k 2 negative 4 square I got 16 16 multiple 2 I got 32 so therefore 32 will equal to 4k and then k I will got 8 that's all p I will got negative 4 and k I will got 8 by solving this this equation actually this question is not really hard of course you need to understand what is the meaning by roof and then you need to remember this formula then you can easily solve it okay then we go to the second part okay for the second part he say okay here hence form the quadratic equation which have the roof p minus 1 and p plus 1 so now okay so okay this is for section a then we go to section b Okay, he, okay, so I assume alpha is equal to p minus 1 and beta is equal to p plus 6. Okay, so since you will see the word hangs, when you, when you see the word hangs means what? When you see the word hangs means this uh, section, uh, the section B here actually related to the section A one. So you can, you have to use the p value to solve this question. P, what we got the p value just now? We got p equal to negative 4. So I just substitute 
p equal to negative 4 into here and then I form the new equation so alpha will equal to negative 4 minus 1 so I got negative 5 and beta will equal to negative 4 plus 6 so I will got 2 okay so I, when I got okay now alpha will equal to negative 5 beta will equal to 2 or beta will equal to negative 5 alpha will equal to 2 okay it doesn't matter then I have to form the equation by using the same formula okay so I write one more time so x squared minus sum of roof x plus product of roof equal to 0 so x squared minus sum of roof means what alpha plus beta so is negative 5 plus 2 x plus product of roof means what alpha multiple beta negative 5 multiple 2 equal to 0 okay negative 5 multiple 2 product of roof sum of roof negative 5 plus 2 okay so x square will equal to minus okay negative 5 plus 2 we got negative 3 x plus negative 5 multiple 2 we got negative 10 equal to 0 therefore x square plus 3x negative negative equal positive minus 10 will equal to 0 this is the general form okay therefore we form the equation uh, mentioned in the question he say form the quadratic equation with have the roof p minus 1 and p plus 6 so this is the quadratic equation that's all okay this is for question number two okay i hope this step can make you understand better okay so go to the last part okay last part uh, no not last part like okay question number three okay this one a curve have the gradient kx minus six okay where the k is the constant given that the minimum point of the curve is three uh, and negative five so he asks you find the values of k and then find the y-intercept of the curve okay first when you see minimum point only two possibility you can see minimum point one is you use the differentiation dy dx to find a minimum point another one you use the completing square to find obviously in this question he straight away give you the gradient so gradient equal to kx minus 6 if you always do the revision you know actually this one is for differentiation okay in the in the differentiation chapter i mentioned before dy dx actually is the gradient of the curve dy dx is the gradient of the curve therefore he said gradient equal to kx minus 6 so i know dy dx will equal to kx minus 6 okay and then he said he have the curve uh, with the minimum point at 3 negative 5 okay he said 3 negative 5 i said when you add the minimum point dy dx will equal to 0 so d dy dx will equal to 0 at minimum point minimum or maximum so he will equal to 0 so therefore kx minus 6 will equal to 0 because this this is the dy dx right? this is a gradient so at this point x is equal to at 3 negative 5 so x is equal to 3 so therefore k 3 minus 6 will equal to 0 therefore 3k will equal to 6 k will equal to 2 that's all as long as you understand the formula you understand what is the meaning by gradient and you know what is the meaning by minimum point and then you know the purpose it gives you the point uh, this coordinate then you can easily solve this one if you like this you can easily get three mark because he asks you to find the value of k and then he gives you three mark just a few just a few step here okay and then this is for part a now we go to part b okay part b he asks you to find the y intercept of the curve so when he asks you to find the y intercept means what y intercept means you have to find c okay now you only have gradient so what you need to do is you need to find the equation first so when you want to find y equal to something you need to integrate the gradient 
integrate kx minus 6, this is the gradient. k we just got is 2. So we integrate 2x minus 6 dx. So this integration is very simple. So y will equal to 2x, okay, power plus 1 square divide by total power minus 6x plus c. And then he give us one coordinate at 3, negative 5. The purpose of substitute this coordinate because I want to find c. Okay, so y will equal to x squared minus 6x plus c. Okay, now I substitute these two coordinates into it at 3, negative 5. So when y equal to negative 5, x will equal to 3. So 3 squared minus 6, 3 plus c. So I've got negative 5 will equal to uh, 3 squared. I've got 9 minus 18 plus c. This one you've got negative 9, negative 9, you've got 4. Okay, c will equal to 4. Therefore, c is the y-intercept. Because y-intercept, what is the uh, criteria for y-intercept? y-intercept when x is equal to 0, what? So when this one equal to 0, this one equal to 0, y will equal to 4, what? So y-intercept is c. So therefore, y-intercept is 4. That's all for the six mark question. So I think most of the students can correct all the three questions here. Question one, question two, and question three. Okay, these three questions is very simple. In the next video, I will upload, uh, uh, in the next video, I will, uh, I will show the answer for question four, five, and six. Okay, I hope this video can help you to correct your answer. Thanks for watching.